What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, The Crow Show, home of the smoothest voice on Twitch. In today's video, let's talk about Twitch shirts. I got my Twitch shirts back in November, and it wasn't just an overnight thing that happened to me. It wasn't just Dead by Daylight stopping my stream to get them. I believe every person's story is different when it comes to getting Twitch shirts. I just wanted to share my story and also just comment on some of the, the videos and tweets I've seen from the community recently showing some frustration over the Twitch shirt program, which I totally understand. I've been campaigning to get shirts for a few years until, you know, a series of events happened that led to me getting shirts along with a few team members uh, from my stream team, The Four Directions. So back in 2022, a number of us Native American and Native Canadian Twitch streamers got together to create a video. This was led by Witchy Twitchy, who I love and adore, and in many ways owe a lot of the credit for getting Twitch shirts. Uh, it started with this video because of Witchy Twitchy. Also, Simply Aretha played a very major role in that because years ago, uh, Aretha created a petition for Twitch to get us some recognition during Native American Heritage Month. And we're still fighting to get that to this day. <laughs> so let's let's have a look at Witchy's tweet. Since Twitch again ignored requests to feature streamers for Native American Heritage Month, we decided to put something together ourselves. From Tlingit to Diné, here are just a few of the indigenous creators you can find on Twitch. So let's have a quick look at some of the highlights from this video. I'm Zoe Rain. I stream myself making Palmer clay earrings for my business Clay and & Rain, and I am from the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. I'm The Crow Show. I'm a Dead by Daylight content creator on Twitch and TikTok. I also host Red Rank Podcast. I'm Witchy Twitchy. I'm a variety streamer and ASM artist, and I am the next. I'm Simply Aretha, and I stream Dead by Daylight, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I play a variety of games. I'm with Chula on Twitch. I stream a wide variety of different games. Right now, it's mainly DVD. I also we're gamers, cosplayers, artists. We are role players, content creators. We are voice actors. <laughs> We are Native American streamers on Twitch. Native American streamers on Twitch. We are, are Native, Native American, American streamers, streamers on, on Twitch. So after that video, we formed our stream team, The Four Directions, led by Hippo and Witchy Twitchy. Now, the video did go super viral, and for some reason I can't see the number of views it's received, but I believe it was in the hundreds of thousands. It might have been 120,000 views, might have been 100,000 views. Whatever the case might be, it caught a lot of attention. And you notice in the clip, a number of us were like, hey, we're Dead by Daylight content creators. And one of the Dead by Daylight community managers saw this video and actually reached out to us and said, hey, wow, you know, we weren't aware that there were so many of you Dead by Daylight content creators who are Native Canadian, Native American. We're like, yeah, <laughs> we're here, we're out there. So we had a meeting with the community manager and the person did mention that they do have indigenous background, which was really amazing. And we've remained in touch and we've hosted a number of events on our Four Directions channel, as well as our individual channels. We've had fundraisers, we've played Dead by Daylight together numerous times, and uh, we've had some fun little events. And thankfully, with the support of Dead by Daylight and the relationship we formed after that video, and through the events that we've had, Dead by Daylight has been very generous, giving us codes to give away during some of these charity fundraisers. So they'll give us, you know, a few codes for the base game, a few codes for the latest chapter, which is typically uh, one of the original chapters. It makes sense. They don't give us ones for the licensed chapters, but we'll take what we can get in the name of charity. And that's been an incredible support from Dead by Daylight. And we're forever thankful for that. Okay, so getting back to the Twitch shirts. Witchy Twitchy's video went live November 2022 and we got our shirts almost a year later to the day. And here's how. Now I do want to say as well, Dead by Daylight did stop by our Four Direction streams and some of our individual streams a number of times over the year. So they were really nice with coming in and supporting us when we were hosting these events. 
Now, I'm guessing that because they were popping in to check us out every now and again, that put us on our on their radar a little bit, of course. And, you know, with the guidelines for when they give away Twitch shirts, they, they do want people who are in positive standing in the community. So that might have been cooked into that as well. Now, leading into Native American Heritage Month for 2023, we pitched a lot of ideas to Dead by Daylight. And again, it was very nice uh, that we had access to communications with the community managers. And, uh, you know, we said, hey, let, let's let's aim high. Let's aim really high. Let's be ambitious. Let's ask Dead by Daylight if we can stream on their channel. Now, Dead by Daylight came up with another idea. <laughs> they said, okay, how about this? We will put out a video highlighting your team. We'll put it on our Twitter page. We're going to retweet and post about your event in Native American Heritage Month. And how about we do that? And we're like, oh my gosh, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> now, some of the ambition that we had asking Dead by Daylight if we could stream on their channel came from just witnessing the previous events. It seemed like Dead by Daylight was really willing to open their doors and have more events. You know, the Into the Rainbow event had been going on for a few years at that point. And, uh, you know, they have, you know, Black History Month and they recognize their creators. And so that's where we got some of our ideas from. And I think that Dead by Daylight picked up on that. And that's why they made this video for us. And let's have a quick look at that. Let's see what we can do here. I'm the greatest Billy ever, dude. trapper because I can trap you in my heart. Aww. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It worked. We got it. We still got it. I see you now. <laughs> run, run, run. Open the door. Open the door. Just leave. Thank God. Now that video still gives me chills and I still get really emotional anytime I watch it. And there's a tweet that Dead by Daylight posted on, on November 23rd, you know, saying that they celebrate Indigenous Heritage Month. And that was a really, really big deal for us. Now that was one part of some of the agreement that we made with Dead by Daylight for Native American Heritage Month in November. Now another thing we said, hey, we wanted to stream on your channel. They politely declined and said, hey, we will still partner with you, though. We will tweet out your event and we'll be there to support you and do what we can, which we're like, yes, please, let's do that. Now, with that image I just showed you there with Hydro, Hydro is not Native American or Native Canadian. Hydro is just a good friend of ours. So we asked Hydro to co-host with me and I provided... Hydro and me, we provided commentary on the gameplay for like the first couple of games. And then we all just jumped into a group channel together and just had a really good time. We had some laughs. And in between rounds, we did little mini interviews because myself and Hydro, we have podcasting experience with Dead by Daylight. So we thought it would be fun just to ask people questions between rounds. Instead of using like my government name, uh, my husband was like, you should use like a, a name that no one's gonna know and like be able to associate with like your government name because uh, you know, for various reasons, right? 
Of course. So, and so Private Queen was instant <laughs> because I was like, you know what? No, fuck that shit. That was funny. I'm going to own that shit. <laughs> 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 that's how Private Queen became to be, and I've been owning it that's ever awesome. since then. <laughs> I love that. Girl, your personality is fire. <laughs> now, the stream was so much fun. We had a really good time. Unfortunately, I was hosting the actual event on my computer. I had some technical issues. Uh, we had some audio issues, but we powered through and we had a really good time and Dead by Daylight was there. And at one point during the stream, they're like, hey, wait a minute, why don't you all check your DMs? So we all got redemption codes and funny enough, mine didn't work. <laughs> so when I typed it in, it said like, error, this didn't work. And so we had a bit of a hiccup and everybody else was freaking out. They're like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Sadly, I couldn't find any clips of this. Uh, but I was like, hey, mine didn't work. And they were like, oh, hang on. Well, <laughs> they sent me another one and that one worked. And it was just a really cool moment. You know, all of the little icons showed up. You know, you got Serena's Twitch shirt, and Meg's Twitch shirt, Dwight's Twitch shirt. And it just, it was such a cool, cool moment. And so many things had to happen in order for us to get our Twitch shirts. You know, Witchy Twitchy had to gather us to create this video and create our own recognition because Twitch won't recognize us during a Native American Heritage Month, which we're still really upset about that. We're still sad. We cannot get recognition. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's the, I'll save that for another video. But the really cool thing is that Dead by Daylight reached out to us and they were like, you know what? We recognize you, we see you, we appreciate you, we respect you. And we've formed this nice little friendship, this nice little partnership over the course of the last 18 months, I wanna say. We've stayed in touch, we touch base every now and again. You know, back in November, 2023, we got our Twitch shirts. Uh, it was a really, really big moment. It's something I'm forever grateful for. And again, I just wanted to reiterate that I just wanted to tell my story of how I got Twitch shirts as well as my teammates. Again, everybody's story is going to be different. Uh, some people will get it for various reasons, uh, but you know, we put a lot of work into this. We put a lot of work into the events that we hosted and co-hosted. We, we did a lot of charity fundraisers and we're going to continue to do to do so and i do see a lot of people out there in the dbd community doing a lot of hard work whether it's educating the community entertaining the community or raising awareness or raising funds through charity fundraisers for really great causes my hope is that dead by daylight recognizes this and starts to be more active and proactive with giving out Twitch shirts. Now, what's my life been like since I got the Twitch shirts? More or less the same, but I do try to conduct myself in a more professional manner when I'm playing games, especially if I'm offline. You just never know who's watching. So I do try to be on my best behavior. Behavior, get it? <laughs> um, and, you know, I used to disconnect a lot more. Nowadays, I do stay in games. I do play it out, even if it's against a Skull Merchant or a Wesker, and I've faced 12 of them in a row, and they all just keep coming straight back to hook, I'll play it out as best I can. So that's my story and how I got Twitch shirts. Uh, I made this video just because I know there's been a lot of frustration out there, but I just wanted to tell my story and, you know, wish everybody the best in anybody who's putting Shirt My Survivor in your tweets, or if it's in your Twitch title, stream title i wish you the best i'm rooting for you bestie thank you very much for watching hope to see you in the next one